everybody. Welcome to Mark's Remarks. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own egg fried rice with added corned beef. All right? And uh, so, so what it is, you've got your, your packet of rice, uh, some free range eggs, anyway, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll sh and it's going to be cooked in the wok. First thing you need is to start heating the, the wok, or you can do this in a frying pan, whatever's good. Pour in about that much. Uh, what's that about? It's about two, three tablespoons worth of vegetable oil. There we go, get that hot. Now, corned beef. I've got part of a, an old packet here. Well, an old packet, a packet I opened up yesterday, and a new one. So, I'm probably going to put in about three slices. So, I'm going to use up the old packet. There's, there's two, I've been cutting them in halves to fit in the rolls. Now that's two halves. And uh, we'll separate these. There we are. And, and then just cut them into, if you can see that, small pieces. There you go, just bite sized pieces, just break them up. There we go. Nothing fancy. You don't have any particular shapes. Just cut them in from one one big piece into lots of little pieces, and then do the same with all the other whatever how many slices you're using. I'm going to be using three. So there was the two halves from the the end of one packet, and then two slices from another one that I've just opened. There you go. Just cut it into chunks, small bite sized chunks, and then on a low heat, I've got 7 out of 12, just throw it all in the wok, and start it cooking. Now the thing is with the corned beef, I want it to sort of, you know, cook, but not really sort of go dark brown, because, so I want to keep it moving. So, because what I'm going to do, when this cooks, I'm going to put it back on that saucer that I just chopped it up on. Then I'm going to put in the rice, and when that cooks, put this with the rice. So, we're just, uh, actually, it's starting to crumble up a little bit. If it goes to mush, that's fine, it doesn't really matter. Okay, just keep it on the move for a few moments. There you go, it's had about three minutes or so to cook. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take it, take it off the heat, put it back on the saucer. And it'll be on here for a few moments till, uh, until the rice is cooked. Okay, I'm going to turn the, turn the heat back up, put a little bit of oil in there, I'm going to put less than I did last time, it was about one tablespoon. Now, I'm going to pour in the, the I'm using plain, long grain rice, plain rice in this one, but I mean, at the end of the day, if I only had egg fried rice or Mexican, Mexican rice, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what flavour it is, I'll throw it in anyway. Okay, there we go. Just gonna chop this. This would have been easier to chop it up in the while it was in the packet. I thought I did, but there's some big, pretty big chunks here. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook this for three or four minutes. There we are, breaking all those lumps up, lumps of rice. Giving it a mix, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Try and keep it in the pan. There we go, keeping it on the move. There we are, still cooking the rice. It's, uh, if you, you've got to keep it on the move, because it's starting to, after a while it'll start to stick to the bottom of the 
the pan. So you've got to keep it, got to keep it moving. There. Get it from around the sides. The, the, the heat doesn't seem to go around the sides, it's all the bottom. There you go, let that cook for a moment and then give it another stir. Okay, the rice will be about cooked. It's been cooking for about five minutes. Turning it frequently. Making sure it doesn't stick. Okay, now it's time for the corned beef to go back in. There we are, fold this in. Now, if you wasn't having this with eggs, like I am, you could possibly throw in some peas and sweet corn before now, before the hash. But I'm having this with eggs, so egg fried rice with hash. But, uh, but yeah, um, I think I might try that actually. I might try it with sweet corn and, and peas instead of the egg next time. Let me see how that works. There you go, keep this on the move. Okay, now, here I've got some uh, three free-range eggs. There we are, just pour them in. And just stir them up. It goes a little bit mushy at first, but that'll soon... Um, that will soon dry up once the egg starts to cook. There you go. Keep it, keep it constantly on the move here because the egg is trying to cook and we're trying to break it up as we go along. There you go. It's starting to dry out a little bit now. Constantly chopping it up. There we go, looking good. I mean, it doesn't look much like egg in the, well, yeah, you can actually tell that there are little bits of egg in there, but it's, it's so, so chopped up. It's all good. You can put, I've put three in there. There was three small eggs. I know somebody with some chickens, so I was able to get a few. And there were small eggs. There you go, just keep on mixing it around because you don't want the egg to, Settle into the right big chunks, you know. You don't, you don't want any, uh, you know, fried egg in there as such. You just want, you know, mixed in small pieces of egg mixed in all the way through. Okay, let's take it off the heat and uh, give it a try. There we go, in the bowl. See what it tastes like. And there we are. Let's uh, go for the taste test. It's looking quite good. There's a lot of, I can see a lot of egg in there now. And a lot of corned beef. Let's try it. Hmm. It's actually quite nice. It's good. It's a little dry. I think, um, I think it's all the the corned beef. Mm. It makes it very dry trying to swallow it, but it's still very good. I mean, you've got pretty much everything you need in here. You've got some uh, corned beef, meat, 
three eggs, some rice for carbs. Mm. Yeah. Very tasty. Um, I think a little bit of sweet corn in this would have uh, would have worked. You know, maybe next time, but a few, even peas, peas and sweet corn, or both, or either one. But uh, yeah, that would have added. Is that way you can bulk up the meal without really doing too much? Just a uh, two or three spoons of each, you know. Yeah, but aside from the dryness, it's pretty much perfect. Hmm. Yeah, it's the corned beef that makes it dry. But very nice. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, just a bit of a piece of sweet corn. That's all it takes. I don't think any sauce of any type will go with this. Not with the the eggs and meat in there. But that little bit of it. Hmm. It's actually good. I mean, you need a drink with it. I'm going to have to go get a drink. Was, uh, yeah, because I mean, I, you've seen me you do do these types of rice dishes before. And uh, it's always been, you know, you can taste the oil, you know, which is a good taste. You know, you can taste the vegetable oil on the rice. But uh, this is definitely different. Yeah, so it must be the corned beef that's making it dried out. Hmm, not oh, good though. Yeah. Yeah, I think any. I put uh, three slices of corned beef. Any more than that would be a bit too much. In my opinion, and unless you're putting, um, you know, unless you're putting in some veg, you know, maybe maybe one slice left, uh, less of meat. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, I'm pleased with this. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, eat this. Very nice. Okay, that's that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll put a couple of vids in the corner here for uh, for you to click on if you fancy seeing some other dishes. Well, that's that. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.